Good morning, everybody. I'm just waiting for YouTube to catch up, as I do all the time. There we go. Hang on. There we go. I finally finished the tote bag, as you can see. It is all sewn on the inside. And it has a handle, which I didn't iron, but I figured I was going to be putting fabric over it anyway. But it turned out very pretty. I've got the oops, embroidery thread. It's got the um, lovely fabric paint on it, which dried beautifully. And it's not hard and crunchy in any way and neither is the image which you can see turned out great i mean it sounds it i suppose but it's not i mean you can squeeze it it doesn't crack nothing so it's going to be really sturdy to keep that on the front of the tote bag so that was a good experiment knowing that you can hey deanna knowing that you can use rice paper on fabric with the gel medium so if you didn't see this video where i do that it's um i think it's the last video i did on here i took a two-week break which was well deserved and needed but uh, i'm back now and i am going to be uh, decorating the bag today and finishing it up which i'm excited about and I'm going to be using some of these new buttons I got in my shop. Thanks, Deanna. They're wood laser cut buttons. They're very cool. Let's see. Do I have them all here? They're vintage sewing theme buttons, but I just think they're adorable. Um, there's measuring tapes. There's little irons. There's scissors. Let's see, do I have them all? One, two, three, four, five. Nope. And there's these really cute, where is it? Little, I got the thimble, but no, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Is that it? Nope, there it is. Really cute little bobbins with the little needle on them. And these are from a wood laser cut machine. So they're nice um, thickness. They'll be great for a lot of different projects. I'm working on a altered spool at the moment. Um, so I'm going to be incorporating them on here too. So hi, Joanne. How are you, sweetie? So these are in the store right now if you're wanting some. I think they're really cool little buttons. And I love wood laser cut things. You can alter these too. You could paint them. Um, that's why I thought they were kind of cool. Because, you know, you can alter buttons. But being that these are wood, you can paint these or do whatever you want to them. Make them sparkly. Look at the little scissors. So cute. Super cute little scissors. So, yeah, I'm going to be using some of them on here. But, like I said, they're in the store now. Yes, they are super cute. So, and I'm going to be using snippets to decorate this. And I think I'm going to start with the handle. Um, and then I'm going to probably sew some of those buttons on here if we have time today. But if not, I will do a, a quick video when I finish this because I have some other sewing I'm doing for this spool that I have been lax on the last few days. But, you know, so I am just using snippets. That's all I'm doing is snippets. I just love the way snippets look on on bags and well I just love the way snippets look. So I have a big pile of snippets here. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So hopefully you'll hang out with me while I do that. Hi 
Where's our lovely Shannon today, Deanna? Do you know? So we're just going to look at this piece. I love it. I can get three bits out of that. I just got some new eyelet into, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's like an embossed eyelet in an ivory color. Yeah, it'll be good. I am gluing them. I'm not going to sew them all on, but I will be doing some sewing. Which, of course, I didn't bring my needle and thread over here. So if I have time, I'll be doing that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start right here with this piece. And hopefully my glue gun is hot enough. It feels like it is. Yeah. I just love the way snippets look when they're all like mixed together. She's got some thread hanging out there. Hello, Shannon. <laughs> I hope you're feeling okay, sweetheart. How are the the fur feather babies? Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. No, I'm just putting this one this way just to be different. You can see how pretty that's going to be. Oh, blue string. <laughs> well, that's Chico. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, sweetie. I totally understand. So, I'm glad you're here, though. Probably all that room redoing and organizing has worn you out. Probably would have been smart to decorate the handle first and then sew it on. But, you know, I don't like to do things in order. I feel like a doily should go there. Hmm. 
Now I want to kind of put a, something here too to cover up the stitching of the handle, but we'll do something separate. Oh, I got caught by the glue. That's okay. What else do we have here? We have lots, lots and lots. Oh, I love this lace. The Backwards Crafter. <laughs> That's a really good name, Deanna. I like that name. I mean, everybody kind of crafts backwards. No, we're going to put that over here. Make sure I have it the right way. Which way is up? I cannot tell that way. So look how pretty already. It just, I don't know, it looks so good. I like it. Let's see what we got here. Let's cut some of this out. The procrastinator, yeah. I hear you on that one. I should rename mine that, too. But I'll never get around to it. <laughs> yeah. Procrastinator. That's me. Okay, so I want to put something here. That would be cute. And I have another one maybe for the other side. Do I have another one? Yes, I do. So we'll save that for the other side because I kind of like that. Which way is up? Uh, that way. Of course, stick your finger in the glue, Kim. And that will cover up my sewing. There, I need something for there. Have these little bows. I have doilies. I have little flowers. Okay, so that would be nice. Yes, yes, yes. You don't have to completely cover up the handle, but just enough to kind of, you know, it gives it texture too. There, that looks really pretty. 
And I can put a button here and a button there. Button, button everywhere. But see how pretty they look? I just love snippets. Okay, so let's work on the other side now. I'm not going to do the underside because um, that's where my hand will go or if it sits on my shoulder. Oh, thanks, Shannon. Yeah, I hear that, Joanne. It is yard time, though. It really is. And everybody's been out working on their gardens and stuff. My husband was out the other day. We have... Um, our property goes way back into the woods behind us. And uh, he picked a bunch of wildflowers and brought them into me. They're so sweet. So sweet. Now, what do I have over here? Okay, so I have the eyelet. I'm going to put the eyelet down. Which way's up? That way's up. So glue on this side. And I might cut the dangle, I know. Maybe we won't. Maybe we won't cut the dangle. I think I have a doily on that other side. So Do I want to cut that one down? Do I want to put there? Yeah, I do have a doily there. So I might cut this doily or not. It kind of looks pretty hanging over like that. I may just put that on there like that. Doesn't matter if it hangs over a little bit. That's okay. Oh, you're so sweet, Joanne. I've got a full day myself here. I've got orders right after this, and I've got to finish this spool. And I have DT packages to go out, <laughs> so it's a full day. Now we're going to put a longer piece here, I think. I don't want it to be super matchy matchy. I think it looks nicer when it's not with snippets. And then I want to cut that other piece to go at the bottom there. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. Okay, where did that piece go? There it is. I'll cut this piece. I think this was a piece I got from Nola. Which I got a package sitting here I've got to go through. So I might do that and use some of the pieces out of it. Because I think there's some lace in there that I might use. Yeah, that covers up my sewing perfectly. Perfect. Okay, so I want something for there. What do I want? Okay. 
kind of like that. You know, it covers up a little bit of that lace, but that's okay. I like that. Oh, my mat is sliding. Get on there. Okay. So I may put something thin right there because I find where's that tan piece I had A little this piece this would probably be great right there right there and these are laces that were sent to me by Shelly Jerza who is Crafty Cottage Dreams or Cottage Crafty Dreams on YouTube. She's on my design team. So you've probably seen her post around um, on Facebook. Oh, uh, no rain there. We, we had a downpour here yesterday. So nothing got done outside yesterday here. Although my beautiful peony bush is in full bloom now, and it's just gorgeous, and they smell heavenly. Peony is one of my favorite flowers. Everything is, is nice right now. And at the end of the month, we'll have strawberries from our area. So I'm excited about that because I want to get a whole bunch of them and freeze them so we can have them in the wintertime. So that looks really pretty. And, of course, the little wooden buttons, which are going to get sewn on the top here, are going to look just adorable. So, and you can see how great the snippets go with this, with the painting. It looks really pretty. They do. I love peony and I love lilacs. Anything with smelling. Um, it's the florist in me, I think. Because a lot of flowers that I used to get in my flower shop didn't have a great smell. Like they'd have that fresh smell, but they wouldn't smell like you would expect a beautiful rose to smell. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's work on the front here. Try and keep that out of the way and keep this as flat as we can. And we will work on being around this area here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this all in camera, but we'll try. Which way is up? I cannot tell. I want to put this piece right here. Actually, let me put this on the inside. That will be easier. Then it's out of the way. But I want to put this piece right here because I want to have some dangly bits. You know the dangly bits. <laughs> I think dangly bits will look nice on here. I like that. That looks good. And I'm going to cut out some of these. These kind of look like butterflies to me.
Oh, freesia, yes. Freesia were my grandma's favorite flower. Yellow freesia. So every time I see freesia, I always think of her in gladiolas. For her wedding in 1933, she has, I have a photo of her, and uh, she has um, a bouquet of gladiolas from her mom and dad's um, flower garden. So those flowers always make me think of my grandma. Don't they look like butterflies when you cut them? These little square pieces. It's the thing with lace. If you look at it a certain way, you can make all kinds of different things out of it. And we're going to put this one up here. And I'm not worried about covering up some of the painting. You'll still be able to see a lot of it through. And of course, she's got the nice sparkle in her hair too. Um, but I am going to decorate her hair with some bits and bobs. Ooh, I might put this down this way. And then that, like that. I think that will look good. Yes, anything with blooms. Yeah, they do give an entire, entirely different look. It's amazing, isn't it? And then, of course, once you sew it, start putting on your embellishments, buttons, and things like that, and um, I don't know, I might put a bit of bling on her in her hair piece here. Yeah, if it had a longer body, it would look like a dragonfly. So, yeah. But I got to lay everything out first before I do anything. Ooh, that might look cute in her hair. Right there, piece right there. Well, that's upside down. And then maybe I'll put a bow here because she does have a bow there. These are leaves. Maybe that way. Looks more like a crown then. That looks cute, right? Oh, I love zinnias. Oh. Hopefully people don't litter. I don't like litter bugs. That's not good. We have to take care of our planet. Oh, I have this beautiful little piece of very old lace. That I feel like I may want to put on here somewhere. What else do I have? Oh, I have this piece too. Cool old lace. And then here, we're going to put the butterfly up there. And then I think I'm going to put this piece here. 
And that kind of frames it. And then this is going to go here. So that's kind of the layout, I think. That's kind of my plan. And then, of course, we're going to have bling right there. I have lots of pearls. Oh, I have a really nice fairy charm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think the fairy charm needs to go on here. What do you think? And I have this really pretty amethyst piece I could sew on. Right there. I have to get more of these. Maybe that's too big. I might just use this little rhinestone. Yeah, I like that better. I have to get more of those rhinestones for the store. Yeah, you think it's okay? You think it'll be all right? I think it'll be pretty. I might put something. Oh, I have these little bows. Little bows. Look how cute. I don't know if the fairy will go there. It might go down here. I think that needs something under it, like a little doily or something. <clears throat> I might cut this one out. Yeah, let's cut that one. I can use the little trim around it for something else. I saw all those beautiful doilies you posted, Shannon. My goodness. Lucky lady. They are beautiful. Yeah, and then we'll put something in the center there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everybody remember what that looks like because I got to take it apart now. <laughs> yeah, the fairy's going to go on here. So everybody remember what I did because I probably won't. I'll leave that there. Maybe we'll put that down first because I really like that. It does look like a little crown. Okay, let's make sure I have this the right way up because I cannot tell which is the right way and which is not the right way. Maybe this is the right way. Yeah, because this is more shiny. Okay, that's the right way. I hope. So do you know what day you're going to be having your sale, Shannon? Oh, you're going to chop some, but not the king-size doily blanket? Yeah, it's hard. I had a king-size doily blanket, but I ended up chopping it.
I did choppy chop. This lovely hand crocheted piece I want to put here, but again, I don't think it matters too much. I think that's the right way, yeah. Although even the wrong way looks kind of cool, but I'm pretty sure that's the right way. And I like that you can see just bits of the painting coming through. Um, and I'm going to probably decorate, do some decorating on the back as well. Hot, hot, hot. Can you guys see what I'm doing down here? I kind of like it hanging over a bit. I was going to just put it there, but I kind of like it crooked. It looks more snippety. That's my word for today, snippety. Um, by the way, we're having a, I'm having a YouTube hop with all my designers on the 25th of July. There'll be more 25th. July 25th of June which is in a two weeks approximately um, and you will see more info of that on Facebook but the prize is $50 worth of yummy goodies from me from the store so it's a good prize um, and some surprises and if enough people participate then I may add a second prize But one of the things that I sell in my store is um, snippet grab bags. So I'm probably going to include a snippet grab bag in the prize as well, because who doesn't love lace snippets? Oh, thanks, Shannon. Well, yeah, do it. Do it, girl. And do the rice paper on it, because it's fantastic, and that is not coming off. There's no way. And you can't even feel the edge of that. You can't even feel the edge of that. The paint is more dimensional than the rice paper. So I will definitely be using rice paper on fabric in the future. Because now that I know with the gel medium that it's not going to be stiff like with the Mod Podge. What time? Um, it'll be 9 a.m. Eastern on the 25th. But it's going to run for a week, so you don't need to, you know. And all you have to do is comment on everybody in the design team's videos. And then I will be going through and making sure everybody commented. And then everybody that comments will go in a list, and then I'll do the drawing. And, uh, yeah. So 50 bucks worth of stuff. Good deal. Yes, and White Rose Crafts is closed for the summer, but you can get these in the fall again. Okay, so this side I had the very vintage two pieces of lace like this. These are so beautiful. I mean, you can tell a very fine vintage lace from laces you get today. I mean, they're beautiful. This is the machine bobbin one. They just don't make them like this anymore. So when I'm using vintage lace, I try to put the glue on the darker parts and not a ton of it. Also because there's going to be more lace on top of this. And then you can't really see any of the uh, glue. All right, which way is up? That way's up. And I need a glue stick. No, it 
Somebody messaged me. I think it might have been my husband. Nope. Maybe. Okay. And then we're going to put this down here. And that will cover any glue that may have come through those thin little laces. But I just love the way that snippets kind of look a bit patchy. Yeah, if you hear us, that's my husband messaging me. Come on, fingers work. Try and get that on straight. There. Cute. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, hops are fun. I haven't done a hop in ages, and I thought, you know, it might be fun because the reason we're doing it is because it is the store's second anniversary. So two years this month I've been open, which is amazing to me because it's gone by so quickly. Now, does anybody remember what I had over here? <laughs> the little doily. Oh, yes, the little doily. And then this has the butterfly here. And then this goes here. And then that's gonna have the butterfly there. And then I was gonna put these pretty little bows along the top, which are super cute. So let's do the bows first. So we need that many, which leaves a couple. Which I suppose I could use one in her hair, maybe. If I put one like that and then put maybe a little clay flower or something there, a pearl. We'll see. Okay. Bows. Yeah, it did go by quick, didn't it? Oh, was it that Christmas hop, Deanna? Yeah, I remember that hop. I'm trying to make this one as painless as possible. Um, so basically the designers are making whatever they want, which I am I prefer as myself when I was designing for other companies, make what you want. So you're happy with your project and comfortable and you're making something you wanna make and you're happy with, right? And um, then they will show their video. And then basically you hop from video to video. So there'll be like more information in the next few days up on Facebook and other social media about it. So I hope you'll all join in for a chance to win. Because I think, you know, I, I was going to do a gift certificate. And then I thought, no, I think somebody would rather just be surprised, you know. And on Etsy, it's hard to do a gift certificate because it doesn't cover shipping. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to pay for the shipping. 
because I don't think that's right if you win and then you have to pay for shipping. I'm like, no, that doesn't work. It doesn't work for me anyway. She looks like a little princess, doesn't she? She's going to have some ribbon bows, I think. Or lace bows. Maybe I will put the prize in this bag. We'll see. Look at it. it looks good. What do you think? Okay, now I thought I had some thinner lace. I have that, but that's not enough. Well, it might be. Let's see. Bows always look good, don't they? What do you think? I'm going to cut the bow down a little bit. Well, I used, um, where is it? Gel medium. Is that it? Yeah. This is what I used, Heavy Gel Medium by DecoArt. But any company that sells, I know Prima has a, a brand and there's several other companies that have a gel medium. And basically I put the gel medium down on the fabric first, then I put the rice paper down and then I did gel medium over top. So, yeah. That's what I did. Oh, I might use these in the middle of the butterfly. You know me, I love my cameos. Is anybody watching anything good lately? Yeah, let's glue that down and then I'll trim it. Do you think that's too long? I kind of like it, but should I cut it shorter? Or leave it long. Oh, you got gel medium? Perfect. Do you have rice paper, Joanne? October faction. Oh, I just saw I saw that not too long ago. I really enjoyed that one. And it sucked because I think there's only two seasons. Oh, you have lots of rice paper? Well, perfect, Joanne. You're all set then. Okay. 
and you're all set. Okay. So yes to leaving these this length, or should I cut them and make them shorter? Hi, Don Marie. How are you? Yeah, I really like that show, Shannon. I watched that a while ago. Of course, right now I'm into The Handmaid's Tale, and this week is the season finale already. Lucifer, yeah, I wondered about that. Yeah, I wondered about that. Okay, so. Oh, that would look nice. Hmm. I don't want to. I think it's too big, though. Too, too big. Those are too big. I do have some of this, though, which is really pretty. And it would add a bit of sparkle. Maybe I'll just do that all the way across. Yeah, let's do that. There's another good one called Shadow Hunters. Um, I really enjoyed that one. Uh, so much so that I bought the books and started reading them. No, I won't forget the fairy charm. Um, and what is Yellowstone about, Joanne? I got the fairy charm right here. Cut that right there. Yeah, I loved Shadow Hunters. I thought it was great. Am I the only one that watches Handmaid's Tale? It's pretty brutal. But this season has been fantastic because um, you know, they're getting some payback, which I like. And I think there's a big cliffhanger coming this week. Okay, let me turn this a bit. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Get under there. Go. 
Can anybody tell me whether I should cut these short or leave them the way they are? Yellowstone is about a rancher, Kevin Costner, and owns a 50 acre ranch who is protecting it from investors and the government, etc. Oh, it does. It's got a nice kind of scallopy and a little bit of sparkle. And I think these are just begging for pearls. Um, yeah, so I might put the fairy in the middle now. Right there. Which means I have to get a needle and thread. That's what that means. Let's see here. Thread. And needle. And then we'll sew on our little buttons too. I think I want to put some lace along the top there though. Right along here. But I need something that's kind of narrow. What do I have? Ooh, I could just pin her on with a bulb pin. Maybe let's do that. Okay. Get in there. Come on. Don't cut them. Okay. I won't cut them. Yeah, maybe cutting them would be too short. They look she looks like kind of a, a royal queen now. You know how they used to have the lace in their hair? Yeah, okay. Let's do our buttons and then um, I'm going to put some lace along the top here, front and back. Or maybe I should do the lace first. Well, I can't decide anything today, let me tell you. What do I have? Oh, this might be perfect. I don't think I have enough for the front and the back, but. It's very pretty. It's a perfect size. Oh, I might have enough. I think I'm going to have enough. Look at that. Yes to that. And we need a glue stick. Kind of fits in perfectly. I love the pearls. I'm going to put some pearls there. I wonder if ribbon roses would look cute there. Are those loose pearls there or not? Hmm. Oh, I have little white clay flowers. I could use those. Okay. 
yes to clay flowers. Make sure I get these the right way up. Don't need an upside down rose. Cute. Okay, let's flip it over. And now I'm going to put that back here. And then I may put some lace on the bottom. We'll see. And there's a tiny piece left. Shelly sent me that too. Or Julianne did, I can't remember. Might have been Julianne. I could just keep going and keep going and keep layering. <laughs> I could just keep on going. I'm going to put that there because I can. feel like this side's more it needs something over here but I don't know what we'll see we will see what um, I do have this really pretty lace and doily I could put on the back here it's really beautiful lace look at this is that the right way yeah look how beautiful this lace is that might look nice along the bottom i could put that there just kind of finishes off the back and maybe make a doily flower or you know some flower, or I could use some of the pretty flowers from the store. I might put these ones on the front. That one's bigger. Nope. I also have this lace. Let's see, maybe I could put this one down first. And then the white one on top. Oh, close that up, Kim, before you spill it. What do you think? I think I'm going to do that. It'll just finish the back off.
The tote bags are super easy to make on the sewing machine, but if anybody wants a tutorial sometime, let me know. Yeah, it just needed something to finish it. I want this to be kind of even. I'll just trim off the excess. Oh, I have some nice buttons there too. I might sew on. I mean, simple, but it finished it off nicely. Okay, let's trim. And I even saved these little pieces because I use them on snippet rolls. These are perfect for going on a snippet roll. when you don't glue them to your finger. We're gonna have to put some glue up here. Yeah. Pretty with the silver and gold. It made it look very vintage. Yeah, that looks good, right? I love it. Well, thanks. Yes, that looks good. I'm not going to do much more to the back. I mean, if I wanted to, I could do embroidery all over this. But... Okay, it might be sewing time. I have some lovely little vintage buttons that Shelly sent me. I don't know if I want them on here, but they might be adorable. Maybe two there, or maybe one there. I love buttons. Okay, what did I do with my thread? There it is. All right, so now the fun part, Kim trying to thread a needle. So we'll see how that goes. Aw, thanks, guys. Okay, let's, fingers crossed. Any wagers in the chat whether I'll get this threaded? Let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, did I get it? I got it. Woohoo! Had to take my glasses off for that one. It's weird because I, I'm, I guess, far sighted. Um, I can't see far away. Is that what far sighted is? But I can see things up close, so I have to take my glasses off. Okay. So for these, we got to go inside the bag. All right. And I'm going through the rice paper there, too. 
that wasn't so bad. Oh, a little resistance there. There we go. All right. Untangle, please. Oh, my goodness. There's fluff on it. Can I get the fluff off? If I try to cut that, I'll probably cut the thread. But we may have to. Oh, I got it. Yay. I got it. Okay. No, wrong hole. Try not to stab myself. Just get it in there and then I'll move the button to accommodate. There we go. What is that caught on? There we go. All right, back in. And you know, some really pretty stick pins on here and vintage tones would look really nice. Okay, we'll do one more, just so I know it's on there good. Probably would have been better to glue these on, but well, you know me, he likes to do things the hard way. Come on, don't get tangled. Okay. Too far away. Oh, my goodness, get in there. All right, this is going to take forever if I saw all the buttons on this way. So I may glue the other ones. <laughs> Or sew these ones on later off camera, but we'll do a couple of the other ones on the handle because I'll be able to see what I'm doing then. Okay. Now to do a knot on the inside. This will be fun. Hang on. It's got to be off the table for a second for me to see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Plan B. Let's just do a knot this way. Okay. There we go. Got a knot. All right, so we're not going to do the buttons on there for right now. I'll do that off camera. It's just too hard. But anyway, the vintage buttons look super cute on here. So we are going to put some of these um, new little wooden ones from my shop on the handle. And I think that'll just make it look really cool and really pretty. Oh, so I'm nearsighted then? 
so I can see things near but not. Oh, you got to go, Don. Okay, honey. Yeah, I can't see things far. And so that must be my husband then because Google can see things far, but he can't see anything up close. So let's see here. What are we going to do? We're going to put the little iron there, I think. It'll be so cute. And these are two hole buttons. Yeah, these are going to be a lot easier to sew on. So much easier when you can see what you're doing. Look at that. Just easy, easy, easy. We'll do one more. And then tie a knot. That'll go pretty fast. Well, I may end up doing snippets on this side to cover up my stitch work. So yeah, might do that after all. Yeah, definitely. So it's kind of good that I didn't now that I'm sewing buttons on here. And I'm sure most of you know about Dawn's store on Facebook there. Um, let's do the little scissors. They're so cute. Um, not quite sure how to put these on here. Let's try it this way. No, no, no. There. And then we'll do one on this side. And then we'll go up the middle. There's a bit of glue there, so it's a little stiff. Come on, get in there. There we go. Look how cute they look. So adorable. I should probably do a stitch around the top there because that might catch, you know? So I should probably do a couple of stitches at the top just to hold that down. I don't want that to catch on stuff and break. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be good. Look how cute. Adorable. I can't wait to show you. My snippet roll is going to be for the hop. My altered spool snippet hole. Snippet hole. Snippet roll. <laughs> Um, that's going to be for the hop. So, because Amy Love did, oh, she's selling on YouTube now? Oh, cool. That's right. I saw a video, but I didn't know she was just selling. So, is she not selling on Facebook anymore? Or is she just doing both? <clears throat> So I kind of want one on every little snippet or 
or so, maybe one there. Because I may add a bit more lace on this. a good idea to sell on YouTube. I've always found there was more traffic on YouTube anyway. I love the little thimble. It's so adorable. Um, you could just put a little bit of gesso on these. Um, you can emboss these because they're wood. Um, so embossing these would be really cool. Because then you could emboss them like the colors that they are. Like you could make this silver. I may do that. And they come in a pack of 10. So. Which is good. It's crazy the price of buttons nowadays. I went into a little sewing store. Last year before lockdown. Um, and I was looking at buttons. And uh, they had like four buttons for like seven or eight dollars. Like I couldn't believe it. I'm like, they're buttons. That's crazy making. I'm going to have to rethread the needle. Yeah, definitely putting lace on this side. Okay. Where did I put my thread? There it is. So there's three. Look how adorable they look. They're so cute. I love them. And yeah, they'll be fun to alter. Yeah, I can see you're doing better on YouTube. So much more traffic. Okay, glasses off till I thread this needle again. Oh, we've been on for an hour and a half already. My goodness. I have got to get some other stuff done this afternoon. So I'll do one more so you get the idea. Let's try and thread the needle again. I got it in and pulled it out. Come on. There we go. Now, I don't know if you guys know, people who are watching um, and on the replay, how I tie my knots at the end. I take my finger on my left hand. Now, I don't know if it's different for right-handed people. I'm ambidextrous, so I do this with both. But usually I take my left finger and I just roll the string around it, the thread around it. And then I just wiggle it with my thumb and then pull. And then you get a knot right at the very end. And it's a good, sturdy, big knot. Okay, so put one here now. Let's do the sewing machine here. Because I think that would look adorable right there. And again, if I was sewing this on clothing, I probably wouldn't do this. But because this is a tote bag and people's hands are going to be on it and, and or shoulder. Um, let's put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, you see how the top will kind of lift up there because the holes are down here. I am going to put a couple of stitches at the top just to hold it down. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't do that because it would be going on clothing or whatever. But I think that'll just help because, you know, there'll be high traffic area here on the handle. Plus, it just makes things a little sturdier. Same thing when you're sewing handles on. I always, like, double reinforce it 
So if you have something heavy inside a tote bag, it doesn't break. The handle doesn't break. So you know that's going to lay nice and flat. See? Yeah, that's good. And we will tie a knot. So how many more do I have? I only have two more, maybe, to put on here. So I haven't done the bobbin yet. So I might do the bobbin there. And then the measuring tape. So I think that's what we'll do. Like that. So let me quickly put those on. Oh, yeah, that's the way you do the knots. Yeah, I think that's old school way to do it. But I've been sewing since I was very young. My grandma taught me how to embroider. Um, I was saying that to Amy the other day. I said I was kind of a nerd when I was a kid because, you know, other kids were doing other stuff. And I was learning how to embroider from my grandmother. But now, at my age, I wouldn't trade those times for anything. funny you don't think of it at the time but when you're a lot older you're you look back on that and think wow that was that was very special time she's the one who taught me how to craft too we used to she used to make christmas ornaments out of um styrofoam balls and all different kinds but the ones that i really really loved she used to get different sizes of styrofoam balls and make snowmen out of them and she would decorate them. You know the little bell Christmas ornaments that you can get? They're shaped like a bell. She used to use hat, those for the hats on the little snowmen. And she'd use fabric and make little scarves for them. And, and I used to love sitting and making those with her. They were so... Oh, my thread broke. Can I re... Do I have enough on here? Threat. Why did that break? This is old thread though. You can see by the spool how old this thread is. It's from one of the, uh, when I used to go thrifting before COVID. Okay. Yeah, that's actually going to hold. Let me just quickly put this knot in here. If I can get that through. Yeah, that would be fine. Okay. I know I'm not in frame. Anyway, there's the little the little uh, bobbin thread spool. And then we're gonna put the measuring tape on. Where did I put it? There it is. The measuring tape will go on the doily. So last one and then we'll call it. But it's nice to get it done. And then, yeah, I'm gonna do snippets on the inside here and then uh, it'll be done except for sewing the other buttons on it. So what are you guys up to for the rest of the day? Well, it would help if I took the little piece of thread out of the needle before I try to thread it again. Come on, get in there. There we go.
Oh, thanks, guys. Well, it's funny, you know, how hand sewing has made a comeback in the last few years in embroidery. Now everybody's doing it, which is great. I think it's kind of a lost art. Get in there. Well, it's not exactly in the center, but you know. That's okay. Oh, great. Catch it around the other button, Kim. Last one. Get in there. There was some glue there. My goodness. Okay. All right, let me just knot this and then we'll be done. All righty. So there we have the handle with our little wooden buttons, so cute. So, so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna be adding little bits to this. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more lace here and probably here and then here, and then I'm definitely doing the other side to cover up my messy work, but that's basically and that needs some more glue there. That's basically the bag. Um, but I think it turned out super cute. I love the handle with the buttons. And I am going to put a couple more of these vintage buttons on here. I think I'll put this big one up here. And then a smaller one there. And then we've got our fairy on here. She looks adorable. And there's the other vintage button that I'm going to put there. So that is basically it, guys. Look how pretty. I love it. Thanks, guys. Oh, you're on new meds, Shannon. Oh, that's hard. Thanks, guys. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll be making next week. I have no idea. Because <laughs> um, I'm probably going to finish the spool off camera because I have to get that in the mail to Amy. So, but yeah, I may give this away with the prize for the hop. So please watch out in the next week or so for the info on the hop. Um, and then I could put the, the goodies inside of this. And then whoever wins will have a nice tote bag as well. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for coming. It was lovely to see all of you again. And I will see you next week. Take care, everybody.